Firstly, we should find out where the controller is in electric bike before we test it. Disconnect the six pins of controller with the six pins plug of motor. And three main phase wires, yellow, green, blue wire. If there is speed meter for a bike, please disconnect its plug and controller signal wire, otherwise, it will affect testing results. Connect the airbag testing device with the controller. Please pay attention that red wire of the six pins plug should be connected with red wire of six pins, and black wire will be with black wire. Connect the three main phase wires with the three alligator clips, yellow, green, blue wire, again. Turn on the e by key switch. At this time, controller 5V indicator will be light. If it does not work, then the controller is in bad condition. 5V power output is in problem. Turn around the throttle. Circular indicators of a bike testing device will twinkle regularly in three ways by pairs. As shown in the picture is showing us the normal situation changes for the angle of 120 for controller. Testing for angle of 60 for controller is divided in two parts. Under the plug wire connected, circular indicators will twinkle regularly in two ways by pairs. Then disconnect the six pins with the six pins plug, return round throttle, as this time the indicators will be light but they did not work before. In the testing, if circular indicators are in dark or do not be in regular, then it must be in problem. Before testing controller, We'd better to test throttle and brake lever firstly, otherwise, there will be some wrong testing results. Meanwhile, this testing device can be used for testing controller which is in dual mode and sensorless. We will look for the connection between motor and controller when we begin to test motor. Disconnect a bike motor and controller. Connect the a bike testing device with the motor. Please pay attention that red wire of the six pins plug should be connected with red wire of six pins, and black wire will be with black wire. Turn on battery switch. Then its indicator will be light. Rotate the motor slowly by hand. The indicators in first row will turn on or off. As shown in the picture, it is the normal situation changes for the angle of 120-ish of motor phase. It will be angle of 60 a degree. If the three indicators will be light or off at the same time, otherwise, it will be angle of 120 a degree when rotate the motor.
In the testing, the hull is damaged or motor inner wires are in poor contact if there is only one or two or three indicators always do not work or do work. Connect the three main phase wires of motor with the three alligator clips, yellow, green, blue wire, of the EPOC testing device. Rotate the motor, the winding will be normal if the second row indicators is twinkle. The winding is damaged or motor inner wires are in poor contact if there is only one or two or three indicators always do not work or do work. Connect the three wires of throttle with the three alligator clips. Red, green, black wire of the EPOC testing device. Please pay attention that red wire should be connected with red wire and black wire will be with black wire. Turn on battery switch. Turn round throttle slowly. If the throttle grip indicator is changing in light and shade, the throttle works. Connect the two wires of brake lever with the two alligator clips. Red, green wire of the EPOC testing device. Turn on battery switch. Pull the brake lever. If the throttle grip indicator of EPOC testing devices change and turn on or off, the brake lever is working. Turn on battery switch. Please replace battery as the following way when the battery indicator turns dark or does not work. Epic testing device will work again.